this is going to be a quick one again, I think. I just painted my nails. Can't see them because it's a bit dark. Because we're just going to be looking at my tablet. And I also painted my toenails. That I should have given a trigger warning there, but never mind. This is the next DVD that I want. It's Shram. And there's only three left. And it only came out in Blu-ray. Amazon's been a bit of a dick. It's really slow tonight. I was going to like show you some films that I was going to think um, to look into to see if there were any extras on Blu-ray. But I won't be buying online except this one because I just want to go in an actual shop on June the 15th or whatever. I get to go. So this is £22.99 and it's got two discs. Ba 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 ba. I've got to get this because I've got that. It's my favourite director. I've got a necromantic one and two. Actually, I've got, I've got the two. That's only on. Oh. No, I have it. That, that's just a normal video. Um, it's not telling you what. Oh, there you go. You get a 60 page book, limited edition, and they are nice the books that come with them. They always come in nice little sets, these book right um, releases. You get a CD with the film score, um, and there's loads and loads of documentaries about the making of the film, and there's also some short films that he did that I've never seen. You get postcards. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I'll get when I when I actually have some money in the bank. I've only got that on pirate video from when it was on the nasty list, and I got it from the dodgy shop where I used to get all the uh, video nasties from. Let's see if I had a look at the Exorcist, and there's nothing special on the Blu-ray. Um, what else did I look at? I looked at Apocalypse Now and I put that in my shopping trolley but somebody's somebody's bought that for me so I look forward to that and that's very kind and much appreciated um, I did think of a few films that I wanted to look for and one of them is The Magic Lantern. Oops. Lantern. Is it called Cycle or Trilogy? Well, I'll just put that. It's Kenneth Angle one. And it's come up with a tent lamp for camping and uh, some other shit. Something to do with Hark Wind and Motorhead. So. Oh it's, oh, it's it's done at auto correct. It's put the machine lantern. What a knob end. Here we go. The magic with a K. Magic lantern cycle. There it is. It has got it. It's just been awkward. I said it was being a dick. There you go. In in Blu-ray. Oh God, it's cheap as well. Only one left in stock. £11.97 new. Come on. Let's see. Because I like this. It's a really good film visually. I think it'd be much enhanced by the uh, Blu ray. I think I'm like a, a bit of a mark mode when I talk like that. Um. Frequently brought together with nothing else, <laughs> but boy, it's like five or more. Okay, right, DVD and Blu ray, and it says bugger all about it. So, what we'll do is copy and paste that, copy and paste, and go. Right, let's have a look at what's on it, because it might be a bit shit. 
in that case I won't bother blu-ray.com magic lantern cycle here we go I hope it's not all in foreign I'll look now here we go video discs Oh, this isn't like a discography, what's that site where you buy second-hand records? Oh, this is rubbish. Blu-ray news. Kenneth Anger announces shorts for Blu-ray. Oh, here we go. Newly recorded commentaries by Kenneth Anger. The, man we, the Men We Want to Hang, Angus film on the art of Alistair Crowley. Restoration, sorry, Crowley. The Man We Want to Hang. Oh, Restoration Work Demo. That'll be interesting. A portrait of Kenneth Anger film and an illustrated booklet. That's not bad, that, if it's only like 12 quid. So, yeah, definitely I'm going to put that in the shopping cart. And I'll chuck um, Apocalypse Now off. Come on. But, um, where's, where's me? I'm gone. Had to basket. These are the th films. Oh, that Alice in Wonderland's good. Seeing that. These are things that people have bought. That have also had the um, the Kenneth Anger one Gollum. That um, I was thinking of looking for East of Eden. That giant reminded me, and also Bus Stop, which is my favourite Marilyn film. Got some Ken Loach ones, the Ken Loach collection. But they're just normal DVDs. But I won't mind that anyway. I see which films are in. Takes you on a rabbit hole of videos. Three discs. Of, so there's only three films. I like Robert Carlyle, he's one of my favourite actors. Um, Raining Stones, which is really good. And two that I've not seen for a long time. Uh, it's not Blu ray though. I mean, that defeats the point of what I'm doing here. Um, so. I'll just go to the basket, the basket, and get rid of Apocalypse Now, the late, because I've got a copy coming, and I've got £34.97 in there, and they'll have to stay there, because I haven't got any money in the bank, this is some uh, skin tag remove thing that my dad bought and it's it's really shit to be honest it's these tiny little rubber bands like the minuscule and you have an applicator to put them on you've got to leave them on stuck with a plaster on top for two weeks and apparently it stops the blood flow and they drop off but all that's happened is the plasters have dropped off my dad and he pulls the bands off i bought one of them but not off here it's really nice it's a it's a poncho with a hood. I'll show you. That starry night scarf I like, but I've never bought it. I might do one day. That, but in black. Come on. Oh, it looks shit in camera. I like to show it in black. But it does look really nice. I got it because of the hood. But the thing is, at the minute, with the weather, it's either too hot to wear it, because it is, it's acrylic, but it's warm, or it's too cold to just wear that, or it's raining. But it's a bit creased, I need to get the iron out and give it a little bit of a press before I wear it. There it is. Oh no, it's not. Yes, it is. But I won't show you there, it's in black. I've never worn a poncho before. But I tried it on and it's really comfortable. It's 
some people have been really mean about it and they're saying like it looks really cheap. Excuse me, it is cheap. It was cheaper on eBay than it is here. But I'm happy with it. You know, it's, I don't know what people expect these days. They just expect something like Gucci or something for, for Tara. I see hers is creased. She didn't bother ironing it, but I'm going to iron mine. And, I, and these, I, this is what put me off buying it off Amazon, as well as it being dearer, is the fact that it comes with a, a real fur from China, pom pom key ring for free, and you know it's probably like cat or dog or something. But I'll show you that anyway if you ever see me in real life. Right, I'll leave that. I just wanted to uh, to update you on my. DVD selection that I'm compiling. Today I've added one, I think I'll add one every day. And maybe at some oh maybe at some point I will actually have money to buy them. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't click subscribe and I haven't got a Patreon. Bye!